What's up guys? Welcome back to another Hot Wheels unboxing video. Here we have an old Apple box. This one is a flat styled Apple box. There are a lot of cars in here, but I think this case got left on its side because as you can see when we open this case up, some of the cars are a little wavy. There is about 125 cars in here, so I broke it up into five different episodes. Let's get started with first editions and some treasure hunts. First up, we have the 1997 first edition 25th anniversary Lamborghini Countach. This one is yellow with five dot wheels. No decals for the taillights or the headlights on this one. Pretty simple looking car, but still a great casting. Next up, we have the 1998 first edition hot seat. Now this was one of Hot Wheels more interesting looking cars. As you can see here, you I guess you sit on the top of it and you steer with the plunger and the motor is where the water tank would normally be. Next in this box we have the 1999 first edition Porsche 911 GT3 Cup and this is the silver version. I seem to have a few of these floating around. I think there's some tampos missing, color variations and wheel variations. Next up we have the 2000 First Edition Holden. I didn't know a whole lot about the Holden Car Company so I looked it up. The Holden Car Company was a South Australian brand started in 1856 that later partnered with General Motors to sell Fords under the Holden brand in Australia. Here we have the 2000 First Edition Grease Lightning. Now this car looks like a mashup between a Formula One race car and an F1 fighter jet. Here we have the 2000 First Edition Deuce Roadster. This one looks like a Z-Mac at first glance, but this one was actually manufactured this way and came like this originally. Great looking Roadster. Next up we have the 2000 First Edition Muscle Tone. Now this is not a car that jumps off the shelf at you, but it was one to complete my 2000 First Edition collection. It has a couple decals, blue interior, and five spoke rims. Next up we have the 2000 First Edition Cabin Fever. Now this one is a, another variation of a tow truck. That gray plastic piece that you see there flips down and then acts as a longer tow bed for vehicles. Next up we have the 2000 First Edition Diora 2. Now this one has a much rounder body style than its older sister the Diora, but it does share its dual surfboards in the back, which is cool, which I think was another attempt by Mattel to make Hot Wheels more collectible at the time. Speaking about collectibles and Dioras, here it is. Here is the original Diora. This one was the 2001 Treasure Hunt. As you can see there, the two surfboards it has on the back, and the classic five-spoke low-profile redline tires are a nice touch to this vehicle. Also, that blue is so vibrant. I believe they call this color Spectra Flame. Next up, we have another 2001 First Edition Treasure Hunt. This one is the Hammered Coupe. I really like the black and silver colors that they used on this. Wow, this thing's dusty. Let me dust it off real quick. Anyways, like I was saying, I really like the silver and black tuxedo look of this treasure hunt. Also with that orange window, very nice looking car. 2001 treasure hunt. The only 2001s in this case seem to be treasure hunts. Here is another 2001 treasure hunt. This one is the roll cage. I've always liked the roll cage, but this one's extra cool since it has real riders on it. But as you can see there, that real, that rear wheel is not a real rider. Wow, that was hard to say. Anyway, still a great looking casting. I really wish I had one of these to pop open so I could roll it around on those off-road tires. Next up, we have this 2002 First Edition Midnight Auto. Now this car looks like a car that the villains in a Dick Tracy movie would have driven. Cool looking car, I like the scowling on the top, the pearlescent white is a nice touch to it. I could do with different wheels though. 
Next up we have the 2002 first edition side draft. This one is a orange color with a good amount of decals on the side. We have those five spoke split wheels there and this looks like it could be a futuristic race car. Here we have the 2002 first edition ballistic. This is a design of a futuristic front mid-engine sports car featuring an exposed V8 and a fastback in a similar fashion to a bubble canopy. Next up we have the 2002 Honda Sprocket. The Honda Sprocket was a concept car developed by Honda that was displayed at auto shows in 1999 and 2000 but did not enter production. Here we have the 2002 first edition Corvette SR2. This casting is based on the second version of the SR2 that was raced in 1957. It has a shorter nose configuration and a taller high fin design located directly behind the driver. Next up we have the 2002 first edition Super Smooth. This is a navy blue truck that is slammed and lowered to the ground. Very nice looking truck with those fenders and the tribal decal on the back bed. Great looking truck and definitely nice to add to my collection. Next up we have the 2002 first edition Nissan Z. This one is the silver version with the split five spoke wheels on it. There is a Hot Wheels tampo on the back window and those headlight decals are a very nice touch. This is a great looking car and a great car for the collection. Next up we have another Nissan. This one is the 2002 first edition Nissan Skyline with a bunch of decals on the side. This is a great looking car. I wish I had one to open up and roll around. This car is very popular with JDM enthusiasts and Hot Wheels collectors. Here we have the 2002 first edition motocross. The motocross is a depiction of a small lifted and slightly futuristic dune buggy. I don't know why but I am drawn to this car but I don't think it's aesthetically pleasing. Our last 2002 car in this case is the Lotus Project M250 Super Treasure Hunt. Look at those wheels on that car. Man those things are shiny. This is a good looking treasure hunt. Very simple, not too many decals on it, just one there on the roof, but still a great looking treasure hunt. All right, we have three more cars in this case and they're all from the year 2004. And 2004 cars got a little bit weird. First up, we have the 2004 first edition Toon Lamborghini Countach. This one is a bright orange color with what looks to be kind of a cartoon style of body shape. So they took the normal Countach and they made it into a cartoon. Next we have this interesting looking car. This one is the 2004 first edition Fat Backs Exhausted. Look how many exhaust pipes it has on the back there. And those wheels are so wide. This car is even facing downward. Like I said, some very interesting castings done in 2004. And the last first edition for this episode is the 2004 first edition Dodge Tomahawk. An interesting fact about the Dodge Tomahawk was the Tomahawk was powered by an 8.3 liter V10 engine sourced from a Dodge Viper. Nine of these were believed to be sold and they went for half a million dollars US. Well that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.